Who's the dude they're fighting? I don't know, but he's winning. Try Magma Might! Magma Might attacks are really powerful, but those didn't do anything. None of Max or Heptad's attacks have worked. They all just passed through that creature. There's only one choice left. Heptad, no! I'm a get it! Get down! Why did you come here? What do you want? Not what? Who? I promise you, Maxor, I will slash and burn my way through Param until your world is reduced to smoldering rubble. Unless you bring me Tangath Toborn. He's like totally invincible. Attacks don't seem to hurt him at all. And he says he's gonna destroy Param unless he battles Tangeth Toborn. And I think I know why. But Tog does not like Tangeth Toborn. Mm. Wow, you figured that out all by yourself. <laughs> This is serious. From what we saw, Param's in major trouble. Tom, maybe you could find out what's going on from Maxor. I don't know where he is. And besides, it wouldn't be right to bother him, especially now. But I know where we could start looking for some answers ourselves. Nothing we tried against, but Tal even slowed him down. No attacks, no battle gear, not even music. What if certain locations affect his abilities? We could lure him to some place where his powers... Maxor, we don't know where that might be, and we have no time to find out. Then I'll lead the Overworld Army! We'll fight Batog wherever he goes! With enough firepower, we... We both know the only hope we have of stopping Batog is to give him what he wants. If it weren't for Tangeth, none of us would even be here. <laughs> Because of what he did at Glacier Plains, Param was saved from total annihilation. After we defeated the Marillions, his team stayed at Glacier Plains. They're doing everything they can to penetrate the wave to free Tangeth, or undo the music somehow. You know as well as I do, the wave cannot be breached, and reversing the Symphony of Stasis music would unleash the wave again, and destroy Tangeth as well. I came here from the Spirit Lands, Maxor, just as Tangeth Toborn did, just as Batog has. This crown is my Talazar. It's what allows me to stay here in Perim. Without it, I would be like Batog, 
a creature of pure spirit, powerful and invulnerable. But after a time, I would cease to exist unless I returned to the spirit lands. But Tog didn't have a Talisar. That's part of the reason he hates Tangath Tolborn, and why he won't rest until he has destroyed Tangath. But Taz once had a talisman, the Staff of Arkhan. Being a spirit creature of war, Batag used the staff along with his considerable skills to spread terror and strife throughout the spirit lands. But Batag threatened Tangeth Toborn's homeland. Tangeth had no choice but to confront him. Tog's Talazar was destroyed, he immediately changed into his pure spirit form. A purely spirit creature is stronger in Perim, though he can only remain here for a time. But in the spirit lands, Batog became almost powerless. Ever since their battle, Batog has been waiting for the perfect moment to wreak his revenge on Tangeth Toborn. That's why Batog's attacking the overworld now. He knows the only way to free Tangeth quickly is to change him into his pure spirit form by destroying his Talisar, the Sword of Kayat. In his pure spirit form, Tangeth will eventually cease to exist if he stays in Perim, and he'll be almost powerless in the spirit lands, just as Batag is. I won't do it, Heptad. Tangeth is a hero. He single-handedly saved Perim. Destroying his sword could destroy him. If you don't destroy the sword, Batag will destroy Perim. Maxor, we just received an urgent message from Dalgad. Batag is attacking his village. We're on our way. Well? Well, my friend Jack was right. Batog's headed for Runic Grove. Runic Grove?! Maxor can't let Batog destroy Runic Grove?! I know. After I saw him with my own eyes, I ported to Kiru City and told Intress. Any progress here? Maxor's team's been working non-stop. They know where Tangeth is inside the wave. Now they're gonna try a new way to get him out. It's 
no use. Who knows how long it'll take to figure out a way to get through that stasis field, if there even is a way. Only a matter of time till he reaches the Grove. The runes are of vital importance. The Grove must be saved. Interest, I was just about to contact you, but Tog is headed for- I know. Your chaotic friend Tom ported here and told me. For the first time in my life, I don't know what to do. Tangeth's been like a brother to me. Without him- Maxa! The Tog's nearly at the Runic Grove! Send Rodden here, with Tangeth's sword. I already have. to Glacier Plains. Explain everything to Tangeth. Heptad and I will try to keep Batag from reaching the Runic Grove until he gets here. What's that? Oh, I know what it could be. moving. What's going on? I'm not sure, but get your scanners ready. There's something moving inside. Happy to see you again. Tangeth, how did you... We tried to get you out of the wave, but... I think Rodden will explain. Maxor has destroyed the Sword of Kayat. <gasps> A terrible danger confronts us all. A creature has come from the Spirit Lands. He threatens to destroy Perrin unless you battle him. His name is... But talk. Where is he? Unstoppable! Maxor and Heptad can't hold out much longer! Tangeth better get here soon or the whole grove will be torn up. <laughs> it's Tangeth! Now vengeance is mine, Tangeth Toborn! Batog's taking damage from Tangus' attacks! Maybe Cedru Spirit Dudes can only get hammered by other Cedru Spirit Dudes! <laughs>
have a chance against me, Toborn! I've been preparing for this moment ever since our first battle! Tangeth used to defeat Batog when they battle in the Spirit Lands. <sighs> now, prepare to bid farewell to Param and the Spirit Lands, Tangeth Tilborn. Toborn, but I'm going to utterly destroy you in Param! They're heading for the Runic Grove! Come on! Port to the Grove! This is the end, Tangus. You're clever, Batog. But not clever enough to know you can only cast generic music in the Runic Grove. <clears throat> Tangus still strong. Yes, but he's much weaker than Batog. That first music was very damaging. Can't you and Hepted help him? Our attacks can't help or harm either of them now that they're in spirit form. <laughs> but if Tangeth loses, the tag will be totally unstoppable! <laughs> <laughs> Much time. I have to go back. Isn't there anything we can do? 
This is my fault. If I... I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. It's been my very great honor to serve the Overworld. And you. The honor was ours. Now that I've fought my battles and won, I'm going back to the Spirit Land where an old warrior like me can live to fight another day. Stay strong, Heptad. Maxor makes a lot of enemies. Goodbye, Tengith. Farewell, friend. As we all know, he saved Param not once, but twice. Always giving of himself far, far more than we ever could have asked. And so we gather, friend and foe alike, to remember and honor Tangath Toborn, whose struggle and triumph allow us to be here today. Though he has returned to his home in the Spirit Lands, we can be certain that his spirit will eternally remain here with us in Param. And so, on behalf of our generation, and all generations to come, I dedicate this monument. May it stand forever to remind us of a true warrior, a true hero, and a true friend. <laughs>